the average velocity of flow of a brick line trapezoidal canal having side slopes were given 1.5 horizontal to 1 vertical so this is the slope and the velocity v is given as 1.5 meters per second it is required to carry 20 cubic meters of water per second that is discharge 20 cubic meters per second is given find out the weighted perimeter for minimum amount of lining so here the question is we have to find out the weighted perimeter we will consider it as p we have to find out and the lining has to be very minimum so when in which case the lining is going to be very minimum in most economical case the lining is going to be very minimum so lining minimum is equal to it has to be economical it is going to be economical so we know for trapezoidal section most economical section is going to be half of top width for a trapezoidal section most economical is half of top width is equal to sloping side that is if you take it as b as width so from here from this data we can calculate the area q by v that is 20 by 1.5 13.3 square meter so top of half of the top width that is top width is going to be plus 2 n d divided by 2 side sloping side d into root n square plus 1 n is 1.5 here n is equal to 1.5 because 1 or vertical to 1.5 horizontal so by substituting these values you will get b is equal to 0.6 d that implies area is equal to d into b plus n d so area 13.33 is equal to d into 0.6 d plus 1.5 d that is equal to 2.1 d square d is equal to 2.52 meters and b is equal to 1.51 meters so weighted perimeter this is what we have to find out p is equal to b plus 2 d root n square plus 1 that is equal to 10.6 meters so option d is correct question is regarding the testing of the concrete the test that we are conducting is ultrasonic pulse velocity test it is to find out the how much strong the strength of the concrete how much strong the concrete is so the question is the ultrasonic pulse velocity test was conducted on a concrete material which of the following is correct the higher the velocity the stronger is the concrete higher the velocity the weaker is the concrete cannot estimate the strength of the concrete with velocity none of the above so here by using ultrasonic pulse velocity the higher the velocity we can judge the strong stronger the concrete so for higher velocity the concrete is going to be stronger option a is correct in this case the question is what is the intensity level of a sound wave that is 7.5 10 to the power of minus 5 watts per square meter so we have to find out the intensity of sound wave beta is equal to 10 log 7.5 into 10 to the power of 5 watts per square meter into 10 to the power of minus 12 that is equal to 79 decibels in terms of decibels 79 decibels option b is correct is the concrete column 50 centimeters in square so the concrete column is 50 centimeters in square is reinforced with four steel rods 
four numbers of diameter 2.5 embedded in the concrete near the corners of the square if Young's modulus of the steel and Young's modulus of steel is ES, Young's modulus of concrete is EC. If area of steel is AS, area of concrete is AC. So we know the area of concrete that is 0.5 square minus area of steel. We know the area of steel is 4 into pi by 4 into d square, 2.5 square in terms of centimeters. So we have to find out the compressive stress in concrete when the total thrust acting on the column is 1 mega newton. P is acting is 1 mega newton that is if you convert into newtons 10 to the power of 6 newtons or we can say it as 1 mega newton. So we have to find out the compressive stress sigma P by a1 e1 plus a2 e2 that is equal to p 10 to the power of 6 newtons a1 is area of e1 that is equal to 0.248 plus 1.96 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 200 divided by 14 here ES and EC area of concrete Young's modulus of for steel is 214 giganewtons per square meter giganewtons per square meter so we have taken common of E1 Young's modulus of concrete so if you calculate this thing you will get it as 3.62 mega newton per square meter 3.62 mega newton per square meter option A is correct.